Turkish people in 81 provinces took to the polls to choose mayors and provincial council members in local elections. The vote is seen by many as a test of popularity of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Erdogan, who started his political life as the mayor of Istanbul, campaigned for the past few weeks to promote his party's candidates. The ruling Justice and Development Party is seeking to win back both the economic hub of the country, Istanbul, and capital Ankara, after receiving a blow from Republican People's Party, CHP, in 2019. For his turn, the CHP is scrambling to maintain both cities and win more. All eyes are now on Istanbul, as the competition between the two main candidates in the city is crucial. The participation wasn't expected to be the same as the previous election. However, it's not less important than the 2023 one. Erdogan wants to end his presidential term with a victory for his party. And the opposition candidate, Ekrem Imoğlu, who wants to participate in the 2028 presidential run, wants this local election to pave the way for his next win. 61 million voters were eligible to vote, with more than 1 million new voters. I cast my vote for the very first time. I am happy I was able to practice my democratic right. It does not matter who wins, as long as he works for this city and for our district. I want the best for my city, aside from political ideologies. Mayor of Istanbul, Ekrem Imamoğlu, and the AKP's candidate, Murat Kurum, were campaigning for improving services for the city's 60 million residents at a time of widespread economic hardship and double-digit inflation. Imamoğlu has been criticized during his term for heavily focusing on presidential election and his party's leadership, rather than solving issues in the city such as the transportation and the traffic problems and multitude of other issues when heavy snowfall crippled life in Istanbul. For the past 10 years I have been living in Istanbul uh, and I found that uh, the previous uh, mayor uh, he didn't give uh, the promise uh, he planned to do inside Istanbul. Uh, according to the service, uh, the management of the city, we didn't, fi we didn't find any change uh, in, this, in this situation. For that, I preferred uh, to give the AK party again because I think uh, they lost the election last time. Uh, it was like a kind of uh, punishment from the people uh, and I think they learned a good uh, from this uh, from this lesson opposition party supporters consider this election as another chance to topple the justice and development party and win back power in the country i voted for akram imam oglo and chp i have always supported chp and will vote for them every time for this could be our last exit from this nightmare Erdogan, who was the mayor of Istanbul in 1994, said it during a rally that Istanbul is the jewel, the treasure and the apple of our country's eye. Analysts say the person that rules Istanbul is able to establish himself a political base which then translates into power at the national scale. Who wins Istanbul wins Turkey. That's what Erdogan, a mayor of the city in the 1990s, was quoted by a pollster as saying. Against that backdrop, Istanbul today could be choosing Turkey's future president. Russian Saglam, Press TV, Istanbul.